In the third part of the lecture, we will demonstrate how to implement clustering and dimensionality reduction in scikit-learn. First, we will demonstrate the application interface of a cluster using an example of k-means clustering. Uh, the application will be segmentation of T1 weighted brain MRI, and we will only use 2D slice for simplicity. So we will start by reading in the image, and this can be done using function imread that is available in matplotlib. We can also display the image using function imshow as you see demonstrated here. Note that we can also include a color map as an argument, and here we have chosen gray. So in this uh, example, we have a one-dimensional feature vector, and uh, each feature corresponds to a T1 weighted intensity for each pixel. The labels are not available for the training. This is an unsupervised method, but what we need to choose is the number of clusters. And uh, we will choose three clusters, one for white matter, one for gray matter, and uh, one for uh, cerebrospinal fluid. The cluster will return labels zero, one, and two. So uh, the image have been pre-processed. Uh, all the non-brain tissues have been uh, excluded and the locations have been padded with zeros. So before we uh, do the clustering, we will select only the non-zero location. And in this variable int, we will remember uh, indices of these locations. Now uh, we need to uh, select uh, the pixels from the image T1 that are non-zero and also we need to reshape it to the correct format. So you see the original image uh, T1 was a 2D image. It was 256 times 213 pixels and after uh, reshaping, the feature matrix will be a single column. So k-means uh, clustering searches for a predefined number of cluster centers. So our predefined number is three and you see how we can create the model and set the, the number of parameters using this uh, argument and clusters. And um, the labels are then assigned uh, to each sample by finding the closest cluster center. The cluster centers are found by minimizing intra-class variance. And of course, this is implemented uh, in the function fit. So once we fitted the model, we can find out the centers using this variable cluster centers and we can print it out and here we see them here. So uh, once the model is fitted we can also predict the labels for each pixel. So we know our feature matrix uh, is in a variable x so we just uh, call model.predict which will uh, return a, a label vector y. But this label vector is not in the right shape for displaying, so now we have to reshape it. So uh, first of all, we will create a segmentation image of the right shape. And this shape is exactly the same as the original image T1, so we can find it T1.shape. And we will call uh, this uh, NumPy function to create an array full of zeros. And once we have the array of the correct shape, we can just uh, paste the label vector into the correct location using the indices. And we also increase the labels by one because uh, they start from zero and uh, we already assigned the zero to the background. And now if we uh, use function imshow to plot the 
uh, segmentation, you can see that it nicely worked here. So uh, in the notebook, starting with scikit-learn, there is uh, exercise three for you to practice uh, clustering in scikit-learn. This time you are asked to perform k-means clustering to segment the T2 weighted image. Now I would like to demonstrate the application interface of a transformer object in scikit-learn. The application is visualization of 30 dimensional data set using principal component analysis or shortly PCA. We will train PCA to reduce uh, 30 uh, dimensional features into two principal components, which then can be plotted for visualization. We will use an inbuilt uh, scikit-learn dataset, which is called breast cancer dataset. And uh, this dataset contains samples with three, 30 measured properties of benign and malignant cells. So PCI, uh, PCA finds a predefined number of principal components. And here you can see code, how we can uh, create a PCA model. We need to set parameter number of components. Uh, and we said we would like two components, so that's why it's set to two. Uh, principal components are uh, orthogonal directions along which the data has the largest variance and the method fit implements an algorithm to find these principal components. Method transform implements the projection of the original feature vectors to the space defined by the principal component vectors. So you see that uh, the original feature matrix X is now transformed to the reduced feature matrix X reduced. And if we print the second dimension of this uh, reduced feature matrix, we indeed see that we have two features. Now we are able to plot this transform 2D dataset. We will plot benign and malignant samples with different markers so that we can visualize structure of this data set. Uh, the scikit learn breast cancer data set uh, also offers the labels, which we will save into Y. These labels are uh, uh, say whether the samples are malignant or benign. So for label zero, we have malignant and for label one, we have benign. And we can uh, plot uh, this data using matplotlib function plot. And if we select only label zero, we'll get uh, only um, malignant samples. And uh, in the second line, we select only label one and we get the benign samples. And now we can see the separation between these two groups of samples. So uh, this is the end of the third part of the lecture. All the code that we have shown in this part is also available in the notebook starting with scikit-learn. And there are also exercises three and four that you should complete now. It should take you about 10 minutes to complete these exercises. The solutions to these exercises are also available as a video from KEATS. Once you are finished with the exercises, uh, please watch the last part of this lecture, Training Machine Learning Models.